we have some of the questions like these are the questions so what is the difference between auto invoice and manual invoice okay in what type of scenarios can we use auto and manual invoice individually auto invoice we have to set up all the transaction types om source to the order type so that the moment you complete the fulfillment fulfillment what is fulfillment if you have fulfillment sets in order types we have if you use fulfillment set auto invoice will be will not be running till all the lines have been shipped in case the sales order is having 10 lines and each line has been scheduled for different dates and what are the order line which has been shipped as a last shipment means after that there is no line to be shipped means that sales order is getting closed system always checks in case we have fulfillment set auto invoice will not be run it waits for the last shipment to be shipped to the customer the moment all the lines got a status as closed system runs auto invoice and we get auto invoice if you want to run the auto invoice you should have receivable transaction types and what is the order source all these things you have to link to the air module by defining the respective order types in the finance tab when you link system automatically finds the lines which are to be invoiced auto invoice will will be will be running auto invoice which is having two program master program and child program the master program runs and gets the data everything which has, which, which is the data which is there in the interface tables to be imported to the air module for the to be processed as an invoice manual invoice at any point of time what other what other requests automatically running those requests you have to run by passing the parameters what is the sales order what is the resource what is the om source and what is the date you are going to invoice everything you have to enter manually and you have to run the concurrent request that is master concurrent request and after that it pulls the child request and make sure that what are the order source you have given what is the receivable transaction type by taking the data you know it will it will link it will invoice the customer you can see the invoice by having a reference number as sales order then in drop shipment if the customer rejects some items which are damaged then to whom it goes back to the supplier or to the organization what is drop shipment customer approaches for an item to our organization where oracle application has been used so oracle application is getting used and the moment you get an order from the customer so you will book the sales order in favor of the customer you have the sales order now and you want to ship the items but when you check for the items quantity you will not have any quantity because those items you are not going to maintain in your inventory when you are not maintaining some items in your in your in inventory and you have to approach somebody who is maintaining inventory that means typically when you are not shipping you are not the you are you are not maintaining the items in the godown items in the inventory so in order to get the item you have to approach to your supplier there is a customer through which we got an order we have the sales order to the customer having a ship to bill to addresses and lines in which what are the what is the item required by the customer it's clearly mentioned and after that as it is source the source type is external when source type is external that means we are not gain, we are not maintaining the stock in the inventory so you have to approach to the supplier supplier would require a document from you because whenever you are buying something you have to raise purchase order so you raise the purchase order in favor of the customer to get the item but while having the purchase order you are going to mention to whom 
the ship to to whom we have to ship the supplier has to ship that means deliver to location ship to location you mentioned in the purchase order in the shipments as customer ship to location so supplier ships the item directly to the customer there is no link to the customer and supplier our supplier we are having our supplier because we are purchasing from the supplier customer is having the document what is the document sales order with our company means we are going to ship the item customer receives the item we have the sales order with respect to the customer so you have the air invoice with respect to the customer you have the purchase order with respect to supplier so you have the ap invoice but item will be received end of the day item should be reached to customer it has been reached to customer but that has been shipped to shipped by supplier and we have the respect to documentation now customer got the problem with whom he is going he is going to have the sales order he is going to have the invoice air invoice is there with respect to our company so sales order is there with our company so as per the invoice he returns the item to our organization it's up to you because you are having purchase order with respect to supplier do you have any concerns then you have to raise concerns with your supplier you have to receive the damaged item from the customer then talk to your supplier through which you got you know purchase order has been approved and sent to supplier supplier send the items to customer so further we have to proceed you have to receive and send it back to supplier when supplier supplier sends back in case that is all that is all the communication like it's up to you like whether you are receiving and shipping the moment you do the rma again you are going to have in a sales order so it's up to you, you can ask you can ask supplier to ship the item by having some services or whatever it may be it's a similar process the customer always returns the item with whom is having the invoice customer is having ar invoice with our organization so he has the right to return the item to the organization you have the sales order so you have no issues to receive the item by rma rma has to be created based on your sales order so you can receive the item it's up to you now are you approaching supplier your supplier it's none of the business none of none of the customer business because he is not going to approach your supplier that is your headache you have to approach your supplier and get it to solve what is end to end to end to end implementation that's what we are going to discuss after classes okay so that <clears throat> how to do rma in drop shipment and back to back order how to do rma in drop shipment you have the sales order rma has to be created and if you see <clears throat> what is the sales order you have let us take how do you create rma you have rma first of all let us open the sales order that you created in the system okay so whenever you have the sales order after shipping the items to the customer okay this is external order if you ship it so it gets closed awaiting receipt means it's a drop shipment external you have to remember the statuses okay source is external you have now 
whenever you are creating RMA, this is the sales order with respect to the customer. Of course, you might have raised the purchase order with respect to sub supplier. And you ask the supplier to ship the item to ship to location. This is the location in the purchase order. At the same time, whenever customer returns the item against this order, against always, always he returns the item to the organization from where he got, the customer has got their invoice. Against which he might have paid to the our organization. So always he returns the items to organization where the sales sales order has been created whenever you want to create rma against the customer compliant you have to go to actions copy change order type to written order if you have written order Okay. Fine. So you have to change the order type to written order. Then you want to copy all the details of the sales order. Every this sales order you are going to raise the RMA. Then everything has to be copied. Copy lines. Copy lines. All lines or certain lines. Okay. So here line type two. For written, there are two line types because if you open your order type, last time we discussed order type setups and we defined order type, line type, SN line type to order type, document sequence, category, assign the document sequence to the category and we did workflow validation. Then we got another sales order number whenever you are creating the different order types in the sales order fulfillment. We have seen, you know, we saw this scenario last class, in the last class. Now, it's up to you. Return for credit with approvals, credit only, credit only line. That's it. Simply the moment you book the order, you no need to receive. Simply AR invoice. That is AR invoice whenever you create sales order. If you are shipping the item to the customer or you are making supplier to ship the item. So either way, you are going to invoice the customer. That invoice is called AR invoice through which you are receiving the cash, check or anything. Whereas in the written order, you are receiving the item, damaged item from the customer. So there will be credit means you have to return back the money. So you have to return back the money. So return for credit with approval. If you have approval, this is the workflow. This is a line type having a workflow in which approval should be there. That means the respect to approval manager will get the notification. He has to open the notification and approve the document of this particular RMA. Whatever you select. And after that, reason you have to select some reason like damage or product or order, maybe. And with the same price, original selling price, with what price you bought it, the customer has bought it. So, with the same price he wants written, so it's up to you. Uh, repricing, like you might have provided some transportation, you want to charge, even though he's returning. And whatever the transportation you provided, you can't return the transportation money to the customer. So, is it original selling price or price partial? You might have, customer might have purchased the item for $100 per each quantity. But whenever you are returning, you will return only 85%. 15% you might have charged for transportation or services, other expenses. That is how. If you want to reprice, it's up to you. You can sell at reprice or at original selling price if you want, as it is. Click OK. So it creates new sales order with the reference of the existing sales order, this sales order having a reference of this sales order and it is going to create a new sales order. That sales order is not a particular 
shipping sales order shipping we will not ship the item against that particular sales order instead of we are receiving the item that is the reason we are going to call it as written written order so that is called rma see copy succeed and the new order number is this much so this this is the sales order this is a written order if you open this the same sales orders lines will be you have to click continue otherwise you lose this number now you have copied that number then you have to query that sales order and this is the written order see to the is respect to the same customer ship to location and bill to location and we have all the items here okay if you go to shipping we are going to receive it we are going to receive it to our inventory okay because the quantity is negative quantity is negative when quantity is positive you are going to ship it quantity is negative that means you are going to receive it back and what are the line you want if you don't want this line delete it if you don't want this line you have to delete it that is how like what are the lines you want you don't want you can delete and what are the lines you want to take back from the customer make those lines and book the order process like you have to receive the item so you have to receive from the customer tab like after this you have to go to inventory you have to go to inventory in the inventory you know the procedure transactions receiving receipts first you make a receipt after that making a receipt you make a receiving transaction to get the item okay that is how you have to receive it and from your inventory if you want to send it back to the supplier from where you bought the item for dropship item it's our as usual process there is a pivot already so you can always in the purchasing you can always perform return if you go to purchasing through which you raise the purchase order the similar way against that purchase order you have to perform returns like in the receiving you have returns tab returns function you have to click returns and against which purchase order you are going to make a return you have to make a return that's it nothing much so this is what the question what is ato flag and ato item ato means assemble to order what is pto assemble to order ato mm, available to promise make to order mto mm, configure to order what are these things like assemble to order is the strategy inventory inventory strategy these are all called as very important question not only ato what is mto what is p2p what is a2p hmm? what is atp and what is ato what is make to order scenario what is ato scenario what is atp scenario what are this what is pick to order what is configure to order cto so these are all inventory strategies stocking strategies means when our customer approaches for an item the moment you get an order you start preparing the you go you start manufacturing the item means what you start manufacturing the item based on the customer order only when customer orders then only you start manufacture means make to order scenario at sometimes configure to order customer says and based on the requirement of the customer you are going to configure configure means customer requires specific you know specific requirements customized one like he wants if he if he buys the car like i want alloy wheels and you have to remove the normal wheels and you have to get the alloy wheels similarly not only alloy wheels i want spoiler and um, i want certain stereo deck system and all this infrastructure in inside infrastructure might be different with camera without camera without backup camera or sensors all these kind of requirements these are all configured to order whenever you want certain item you will configure as per the requirement of the customer so make to order similarly assemble to order there is an atp available to promise what is available to promise if the item is available then you can give a promise date to the customer saying that so and so date i can promise and ship the item to the customer we have assemble to order basically what happens you know whenever the flags are enabled scheduling mostly these are very important with respect to the schedules so order schedule 
whenever you have schedule you have a schedule that means we are going to ship the item to the customer on so and so date or beyond this date customer may not accept so such kind of conditions will be there when there are certain conditions system has to decide based on the data available in the system system has to derive and what about the lead time calculation what is lead time for every item you would require certain time to procure or to produce or to make the item so that was the reason whenever a customer approaches the vendor for certain items so vendor will not supply the items immediately instead he takes the time why because if you have the money and go to any car showroom pay full time full full of uh, full full amount so will you get the item immediately on the same day you won't get it why because they would require certain lead time because after confirmation of the order they may check for availability or inspection whatever it may be they have certain formalities to be completed for which they would take certain time which is called as lead time lead time means the time required to really ship the item to the customer how much time is required that is called lead time so based on the lead time for every item there is a lead time that was the reason if you go to items item item master or organization items we have multiple tabs in which we have the tab as lead time in the lead time we have the timings and those timings are going to be cumulative pre processing post processing like that pre processing means in order to get the item how much time do you require post processing means after getting the item you might be having some inspections quality checks and you want to perform those quality checks and then you would require certain time means customer may might have paid the amount fully but only thing is you cannot supply the item immediately why why because in order to complete your formalities your checks and all those things you would require certain time what of the time you would require to ship that item to the customer that lead time based on the lead time system calculates by which date the item will be available for shipping to the customer so that schedule ship date will be calculated and will be derived whenever ato flags are enabled it is all about scheduling when it has to be shipped so that is what the importance of ato flag ato flag so ato items are basically they are going to be scheduled by the system automatically which derives based on the availability based on the lead time calculations and all those things that is how this flag works and ato item behaves what is pick slip exception form pick slip exception form pick slip when do you require pick slip whenever you ship the item before shipping you are making the items are available in your staging whenever you are getting the items into staging whenever you are getting the items into staging means those items are getting reserved against the customer the moment you got a, you got the items to staging by the time it is said to be pick release is completed that particular time what was the pick slip the pick slip any changes to that particular request based on which any exceptions will be raised why because in case you raise the request during that time a date has been changed there are certain exceptions why because you might have confirmed by tomorrow but the date has been changed to next week in the sales order then there is an exception exception because there is a schedule ship date has been postponed so like that sometimes you might have prepond so all these things what are the changes and reservations because whenever there is a change in the date and what are the unnecessary reservations those reservations has to be cancelled have to be cancelled or you have to bring back the item stock available to the availability and after that you can ship that item to another customer who would require the item immediately in case this customer would require next week then we will postpone so if it is this is the this is the procedure of you know any exception raising an exception that is nothing but that can be done in the shipping transaction form in the sales order what are the changes accordingly a system changes the schedule ship dates and 
Sometimes you may change annually the schedule shift date due to which exceptions will be raised and those exceptions to be resolved. And you have shipping transaction form in which if you go to tools, there is a exception resolution form. You have to click that and you have to select the proper reason why you are going to. So you have to get rid of that exception in order to process that item to the customer further. That is how you have to do whenever you have an exception. So apart from this, you have any questions? Today nobody joined, so very less people joined.